the most important is the Mach number, the pressure and temperature without having this such kind of uh, paper diaphragm and all we can find using this uh, oscilloscope but the main intention is to find the Mach number which is also associated So basically here in this uh, ready shock tube, so this is one instrument where we uh, try to find the parameters like uh, pressure, temperature, Mach number etc. Here we have uh, uh, oscilloscope, the cathode ray oscilloscope. So this oscilloscope, the CRO which is termed as the cathode ray oscilloscope. Um, This oscilloscope help us to find out the parameters like pressure, temperature and when we apply the expression of uh, Mach wave in the fluid medium and so on, we will get the Mach number of uh, the Mach wave generated by the hand driven device which is the ready shock tube. So there we have two different parts or two different section as you see which is uh, separated by some uh, uh, mica sheet, mylar sheet somewhere or some paper diaphragm. The diaphragm means the the distinction which separates one part from other. Here we have the gas and here also we have some, some gas. Okay, the, this is termed as the test gas and this is the driver gas. Why this is driver and driven? Because as this is piston, we are going to push this and when we push this, gradually here the pressure will increase. Why so? Following the ideal gas law and everything, as the volume decreases, pressure will increase and that instant will come when this will get ruptured and suddenly at the same instant there will be, because as this is very narrow, so there will be some shock wave generated and it, it will be very high speed because real gradually we are pushing the piston, 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 we are pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. And there will be there will be a threshold when this paper won't be able to bear the the bombardment of all the molecules, all the millions and trillions of gas molecules, and then it will get ruptured, and all those millions and trillions gas molecules will, uh, after breaking it, after penetrating this, they'll move towards the second section, that is driven section, and that will be will being driven to the downstream, downward stream, likewise. So then. When they are moving, there will be a shock wave and for, from that downward or downstream part, the reflective, extractive wave will also be there which can be balanced with the shock wave. But at the same instant, we can measure the parameters like pressure, temperature and Mach number, the speed with which they are going because there will be some sound, there will be some shock wave that can be uh, taken by these sensors or that can be captured by these sensors. One is uh, one of the sensor will be to the power supply and both the sensor will be to the, this uh, CRO that is the uh, oscilloscope actually and in that oscilloscope we can vary the different uh, parameters so as to get the precise value what is the Mach number using that we know which gas is this because there is a driver gas we have selected that particular gas we know few uh, parameters uh, of that particular gas so knowing the Mach number and the speed of sound we will be able to know the speed of object or knowing the Mach number and the speed of object using whatever we got using the oscilloscope we can get the speed of sound in that particular medium so if you want to use helium gas if you want to use nitrogen gas if you want to use oxygen gas pure gas I am talking about so we will be able to find the speed of uh, sound in that particular medium at the same time we are getting the Mach number for different 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 uh, fluid medium having the same dimensions like what, what would be the diameter, what would be the length, they, those are the fixed dimensions we have. So that won't vary for this particular ready shock tube and uh, the major thing, the intention is to find this few parameters, the pressure, temperature, the most important is the Mach number, the pressure and temperature without having this such kind of uh, paper diaphragm and all we can find using this uh, oscilloscope 
but the main intention is to find the MAC number which is also associated with other parameters as I explained to uh, measure the sound, the speed of sound and to speed of object and etc. That can be related once we get the parameter related to the shock wave. So this is the little hand on experiment. This is pressure gauge. You can change it. Like if you want, uh, even though this threshold will be same, but this pr pressure gauge, you can increase it or decrease it depending on how much you want to move inside by 4 millimeter, 5 millimeter or few centimeters or few millimeters depending on and here you will get the pressure and at the same time you will get that when it get ruptured after displacing by 5, 7, some few millimeters this pressure gauge will show you some data so this P value you can get and uh, many parameters associated with that shock wave which is being produced after rupturing it which goes suddenly there in the driven state or the driven part we able to find that using this instrument which is ready and shock tube and this is very fine and simple experiment this oscilloscope is something very interesting uh, to look after where you can change the thing in the cathode ray oscilloscope we have two plates two horizontal plates and two vertical plates the vertical plates is to deviate the beam vertically the horizontal pl uh, plates are to deviate the plate horizontally so that it will bombard at a particular place. I'm not going into much detail because the topic is ready shock tube, but you can look after this uh, oscilloscope also. It will bombard and give us uh, some particular dimension or some particular planar dimension and using that planar dimension, we can measure many physical quantities related to it. Fine. So that's it. Thank you. We'll, we'll discuss in case if there is anything.